Greetings and salutations and welcome to that event a quick video. In today's quick tips we're going to be covering the bill of materials or particularly bomb structures. So if you don't know what the bill of materials is, it's basically just a parts list. It tells you how to, it tells you what parts go into an assembly and a sub assembly and can break it down, makes it very easy to make stuff. But however, there are multiple different structures to how you classify things to make building stuff a little bit more easier. And so you can see here we have the bomb structure which is normal, which is just the default regular they're included in your calculations, they don't have really much influence on actually other parts and really the parent assembly kind of dictates where you see, so sub-assemblies, so you see you've got box assembly in this assembly, so lots of sub-assemblies in there. But that's only really the one that, and that's the kind of one you'll come across most of the time. There's a couple others which are kind of important. So if we move on to Phantom, Phantom is a bit of a strange one, it's really a simplification they kind of exist, but they don't happen in the bill of materials. They include mass calculations, and you can see the quantity of them. They're kind of used for more things like screws, where you don't all render your order one screw, you order a box of a hundred. And that's kind of really it. There's not really a lot to say. Reference is probably one I use a bit more, which with the frame generator, and this is for more like skeleton solids. So solids that you use as reference geometry and build it up but really should not be included. So they're framework kind of parts. They also use like, if you manufacture one thing and to add context, so let's say you, uh, like, you know, on a computer, if you're on like a steering wheel and uh, pedals set, but say you only do like the steering wheel, but you also need to work out how big the box is, then you can straight bring in the pedals to see if it fits in the box. And you can also check the steering wheel, but the pedals don't really count towards all your mass calculations or actually anything at all, if that's a bit wordy. Inseparable, so this just means you can't break them apart. Their class is like, it's a kind of a part rather than an assembly, and you can't physically put them, break them down any further without damaging them. So this is like for glue, when you've got glued uh, weldments, if you just kind of like slotting stuff together and it all locks together. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. So yeah, they're just pretty much standard, they're kind of, yeah, that's not really it, they're just inseparable, you can't break them down any further, and that's kind of how they're treated. Purchased, well, purchased, they're just treated as a single bomb item, because ultimately, if, they're per if you're purchasing them, you're not assembling them, so they just come as a single item, they're almost like a part in itself, you just kind of slot them in and get them out as needed. If you don't ma manufacture them, if you buy them in from a supplier, then purchased. Great way to keep them out and so keep track of everything and to make sure you're not actually building them. And that is really it. We have covered normal, inseparable, purchased, phantom and reference in a bit of a strange order, but I've kind of just gone through as of what's on my head. Thank you for listening and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.